Welcome back. This particular kit started around wanting to wear that sweater. I haven't worn that in probably like a year and a half, I think. Right off the bat, I went with the Glenn Miller GLP 1200s. These are the senior model pad from that era from Glenn. The top model was the GLP 1000. I got these pads a few years ago now. Uh, they were hanging on the wall, like strapped to a piece of conduit at a used sporting goods store. Overall, they were in really good condition. I did replace all of the straps and buckles with help from Glenn Miller. The leather on the knee rolls and a little bit up here do show like some little uh, poke holes, I guess, almost. I have a feeling at some point these hung in somebody's man cave near a dartboard and some darts missed, I guess. Bad aim, whatever. And there's a handful of these little marks on them. None of them seem to be holes that go all the way through. And they don't really look like cat scratch marks because they're kind of spaced apart and stuff. Overall, they still are in great condition. They're an extremely solid, well-built pad. And it may seem a little sacrilegious given the theme of my channel and content, but I gotta, I gotta say, I believe the Glenn Miller pads are the most solid, well-built pads of the era, at least. Sticking with the leather theme, I went with the Vaughn uh, T1000 and B1000 gloves. And I do believe these are probably roughly 86, 87, if I'm correct. And that stems from the Vaughn Canada labels. They are the early model glove. This is the T1000. You know, it's, it evolved a little bit over the time that it was the primary or only glove that they offered. It does have the lace cheater, so it still puts it in the, um, probably like the 86, 87 range, I believe. I could be wrong, and if I am and you know more than me, feel free to drop some comments about that. We'll talk real quick about the stick. This is a Louisville 2625G, and this was a gift to me from my friend Steve. This was one of the stock he still has kicking around from his high school days back in the 80s. It's an amazing stick. It's in such great shape. I don't always talk about the pants I wore, so this time I'll take a quick opportunity because, again, I don't wear them very often. These are probably late 70s to very early 80s Winwell shock guard pants. They are more of a player pant than a goalie pant. The, the pants of this style have pockets inside that you can add or replace the foam or plastics or whatever you want. And then I have some really nice new old stock Cooper suspenders attached. For the head protection, I went with the SK2000 HM30. You'll notice this little black strap on here. This is because I wore the helmet cam. That's how I attach it. There's these little rubber straps that the camera slides into. It bothered me that I wear this black camera on there and it really detracts from the look overall of, of the helmet. So. I took a little time ahead of time and made some patterns of the shape of the brace of the camera and cut some green vinyl and attached it so that when it was in there, it wasn't as noticeable. It seems to have served its purpose. This helmet, I also have installed my custom new foam and it has a really beat up chin pad that even has a little bit of hockey tape on there, keeping it all together. The jersey, so the thing about this jersey is I bought this off of a Facebook ad at least a couple of years ago. It did have a nameplate on the back. It had Worsley for Gump Worsley on the back of it. I wore it maybe a couple of times, but it kind of bothered me it had the nameplate because to be correct, it wouldn't have had that. But also having a nameplate like that on there doesn't allow me to necessarily wear it for other looks. So a while back, I tried to remove that nameplate. It turned out that thing was not just sewn on, but it had so much glue that it took me forever to get it cleaned. I tried everything I could until I finally came across a product called VLP, I think it is. I'll try to show a photo of that here. That stuff ended up working out really well. So I was finally happy that I could get it back out on the ice. And this was the game I decided to do it in. Game video is coming up. There really wasn't much to put in this game video of myself. Again, I play in a uh, like a low D league and then our organization has um, an entry level 
division as well. And for whatever reason, we were scheduled a second cross division game. So we played against a team that's from kind of the beginner league. We were just too skilled for that. I didn't see a whole lot of activity anywhere in this game. It's not really a whole lot of highlight of me. I did include some uh, video clips of the other goalie. He really deserved better outcome in this game. And quite honestly, he was playing his butt off and really held us down to not very many goals. We were really having a hard time scoring on him. So I included some clips of Ira uh, sporadically through this video and it's only a few minutes long. So if you like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up, share it with anybody you think might get a kick out of seeing the old gear. As always, thanks for watching. Almost a shot on goal. nothing after one holy shit, man you're killing it good save Ira go behind go behind go behind thanks post I'm not gonna lie, I wanted that face off down there. And I felt like if I'd have played it, I would have done something wrong. Oh my! Almost in off his defenseman. Nice, good job. First save, first shot. Oh, man down. Nice cover. Good job, Lyra. Another good save. Okay, 3-0 after two. Not gonna lie, now I'm nervous. You don't mind if I make this whole video about you, right? <laughs> Totally screened there, so I just dropped down because odds are it was just going to bounce through on the ice. Ah. 
See, this is why I was nervous at the end of that period. It is only a 3-0 game. Don't scream! Oh ho ho! Oh man. I was gonna come to the bench for the extra skater. I wasn't really. Four to zero win. I don't know, what do you think? 50 saves in the game, man? I don't know. I mean, I'll bet, yeah, that first period was probably 20, 25 on its own. Yeah. So it's like a lot of our games are like this. It's like It's a good workout for me, though. Yeah, no kidding. I'm cramping up from standing. Hey, good job, man.